Hi. In this video, we're going to look at step two of the PLC troubleshooting process steps, which is review the states of the processor indicator lights. So after we have identified the problem, which in this example is the operator tells us that when they actuate any of the I.O. buttons on the machine, nothing happens okay so our first step once we understand the problem we want to review the states of the processor indicator lights so if i take a look at the plc a little closer i see a couple things number one the run light is not on and i also have a flashing okay light which is flashing red which is my fault light. So that means I have a fault of some sort on the PLC. And when I press a field device light, it does light up on the I.O. card. But none of the, there's a toggle switch on the side here. but none of the outputs actuate. The first thing I can do is I can open this panel and I can uh, investigate the PLC mode switches. Okay, I've got remote, run, and program. And sometimes to clear a fault, if I go down into program and then I raise the switch up into run, and bring it back down into REM for remote run, it'll clear the fault. And in this case, it clearly does not. Therefore, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to connect with the PLC and investigate the fault closer with the programming device. So I've connected with the PLC and I can see that uh, I have a controller fault and it's flashing right here and the IO is not responding and I'm given the status of the fault that the PLC is faulted here. Okay. I could at this point open this up and attempt to clear the fault. Okay. But before I do that, it may be of better interest to find out what the fault is. So I come down here to controller properties and I either hit uh, alt enter or right mouse click and go to properties and I'm going to check the fault. So I click on major fault and I do have a major fault. Okay. And it says uh, type is 03, which is an IO fault. Okay. So I have a situation with my IO. And it's telling me it's code 33, which is at least one required con connection not established before going into run. Okay. So <clears throat> at least I know it is with the IO. Uh, sometimes I might be able to clear that. So I'm going to click here and say clear majors, which will clear the fault. And it will kick me over into remote program mode all right and if i take a look at my plc i can see that it now says it's okay but i am not in run mode i'm still not in run mode so i'm going to go back to my plc i'm going to close this say okay i'm going to right mouse click and i'm going to say go to run mode or run mode and it prompts me of course to change controller back to run mode I say okay and I think I still have a problem the controller acknowledge your request for a transition to run mode but it has not completed the transition so I say okay what exactly does that mean 
Well, the fault doesn't come back right away, which could be a good sign, could not be a good sign. Uh, it came back. Okay, my fault returned. Let's check and see if it was the same fault as last time, which obviously it's probably going to be. Major fault, same fault. I need to take steps to see if I can figure out what the problem is. Now, at this point, I probably have three options. Number one, I need to clear the fault. So in this case, instead of going to clear fault from the properties, I can open this up and I could say clear fault and it kicks me back into program. To get the machine back up and running as quickly as possible, perhaps the most prudent thing to do at this point is to re-download the master file for the machine. The program could be corrupt. We could still have a hardware issue, but the program could be corrupt. So for peace of mind, I'll typically re-download the master file and see if that remedies the situation. If it does not, or in lieu of that, I can investigate a little deeper. And I know that it was an I.O. problem. And I look down at my I.O. configuration. And I have many things going on here. And one of the things I see is I have uh, little I icons on both the embedded I.O. and the expansion I.O. So this is probably an indication of what the problem is. It looks like an I.O. configuration issue. More than likely, I'm having an issue with one of these expand one of these modules. Now, the Ethernet modules are not necessarily as critical. Um, they just won't be functioning correctly. But the expansion modules to find out a little bit more information about which module may be having an issue, if I click on the embedded module and look at the properties and go to module info, it should register with the module information, which it does. Okay, and even under general, it should tell me some things don't really see any issue with this so i'm going to say okay i'm going to go down to this module and i'm a little suspicious because this module is called fault test so i got a sneaky suspicion this is going to be the problem and um, i'm going to go over to connection and i look at module and it says path specific invalid or module not responding so I'm having an issue with this module. And if you may have noticed that since this is a test, this, this particular PLC has no additional modules assigned to it. Consequently, the configuration is the IO configuration thinks that we have an expansion module when in reality, we don't, which generates the fault whenever you try to go to run. Now, this simulates what could happen in an actual installation if we have a expansion I.O. module go bad. In other words, the PLC cannot find it based on the configuration and it therefore would give us a configuration error and when we go into run mode we would try to number one it won't let us go into run mode and number two we would get a fault so how do i fix this error if i suspected the error was the actual module had gone bad i would replace the module and see if i can put the plc in run mode and if the module, as is shown, is bad, it is no longer communicating, that will fix the issue. So this is a very specific example of how you may detect an error with 
the I.O. module. So in summary, we use the PLC troubleshooting process steps to resolve a fault issue with the PLC. We identified the problem with the operator. The I.O. was not responding. Uh, we then uh, reviewed the states of the process indicator lights and we found that the PLC was not in run mode and we were getting a fault. Uh, we traced that fault using Logics Designer to the I.O. and we identified that we had a problem with the I.O. module. We replaced that I.O. module and then we attempted to uh, place the PLC into run mode which it readily went into run mode. We then attempted to validate the PLC that it is functioning correctly in step six, validate the system. Come back and test the system. And we see I.O. lights activating. And we find out that the machine is functioning as we intended and have therefore fixed the problem. That concludes this example of reviewing the states of the process indicator lights to resolve a PLC issue.